Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. We're going to talk today about fridges. We haven't talked about fridges on this channel for a long time, and yet, you know, they're really handy. These, this is a 12 volt compressor fridge, uh, and it has a lot of advantages. If you want refrigeration, this is the way to get it. And this company uh, contacted me and offered me this fridge for free. What I really like about this particular one, it's an ice co, and this is the JP50, and that means it's 50 quarts, and that's a really good size. What I really liked about this one is it uses the Danfoss compressor. And I've been around long enough to know that the Danfoss compressor is the best one that you can get in these. Now let me take that back a little bit. Engel is probably the best, and they don't use the Danfoss. They use one of their very own. I, I'm not, I don't know anyone else that uses theirs. And they have, they're the longevity kings. They will last a very, very long time. Uh, but other than the Engel, the Danfoss is by far the best. I haven't even opened it yet. These fridges out of here is <clears throat> kind of a battle. <clears throat> and they don't come with the handles on them. I think what I'm going to do, this is probably not the best thing to do, is just to lay it down and pull it out. Oh, there we go. It's not that bad. Well, the plastic bag made all the difference. That made it come off pretty easily. So this is a 50 quart. And it's, they're standard, you know, the, these things are all built around the same. It, does, it has the um, handles in it, <clears throat> and you can see here that it has these holes, and you, you mount the handles in there. And mine is a lot like this. This is a very similar design. The big thing is that the, it opens. It's a top opening. So it has a 12, it'll run on 12 volt, 24 volt, or it'll run on 110, and um, and so that, that's real handy to have all that. And this, the compressor is back in here. And this is the air intake. I'm assuming I'd have to try it and see. And this is the out, air outtake. So blow, there's a fan, blows air in, blows it out. That's usually the way it is. I'd have to turn this on to know, for, to be exactly sure. Uh, but the, the key thing is you must never inhibit in any way the airflow through the compressor. The compressor will get hot and burn up. So that's extremely important. This is the master control, and all of them look something like this. Um, it's an on-off switch. This switch allows you to control uh, really fast cooling or just normal cooling, max and echo. And then you <clears throat> push a button, and that would make this come on and blink, and then you would go up and down. This is the thermostat. These are all very similar. Um, oh. This one comes with a bag. Now that is very unusual. Usually you have to pay extra for the bag. This I'm sure is the handles. So you can put the handles on. I didn't put the handles on mine because I didn't use them. And so it's a very, you can see this is a real disadvantage uh, to all of these, is this one is deep and, and small. And so the things on the bottom are a pain in the butt. <laughs> Believe me, I know about it. Mine is very similar to this. And this is not as uh, cold. This area is above the compressor, and I don't believe it has cooling through it. This stays much warmer than this, so only things you don't really care about go in here. Um, and the deep, and they all come with this, and I throw these away. Uh, they're just in the way as far as I'm concerned. I throw those away. But uh, So that's basically what these all look like. They're very, very similar. This one, now this was 550 on Amazon right now. It's a prime item, free shipping. But it also includes the bag. And so this is an insulated bag. And that's good. I would definitely use this. It's got uh, foam insulation in here, uh, soft foam. I can feel it. And so this would be a very good thing. I think you're better off buying the Danfoss compressor. Uh, that's the reason I, I let them send this to me. This is $550 and includes the free cover. The cover is usually between 50 and 100 bucks, so that's a pretty good deal. Now, as far as I know, there are only three on Amazon companies that sell 
the uh, Danfoss compressor. The next one up is called uh, made in Italy by a company named Indel B. I own currently an Indel B. I've had it for three years. It's very similar to this. Very, very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the exact same fridge. This one is, uh, is uh, cosmetically a little different. Uh, but otherwise, it's very, very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if it were the exact same company making them both, different branding. Um, and it also has the Dan Foss compressor, which is why I bought it. It's been trouble for free for three years, so I would I would recommend an Indel B. Mine is branded as Truck Fridge. I bought it from Truck Fridge. Uh, actually, I paid the same, I think, five fifty, dollars uh, but this has free shipping. And it has the free bag, and so this is a quite a bit better deal. Uh, with Amazon, you get that free prime shipping and the bag, so this is a very, very good deal. It's the best deal with a Dan Foss compressor. Um, the next one, the Indel B, and it is $670. Above that is the ARB. Now, if you know, if, you, if you've studied uh, uh, these compressor fridges for long, you know the ARB is a premium product, and uh, very expensive. The ARB is $964 and it also is 50 core, the exact same size, and it's running the same Danfoss compressor. So what are you buying for that extra $400? The bag for the ARB is 100 So to buy the ARB and the bag would be $1,064, double the price that well, you're going to pay for this. You're getting the same compressor, the exact same guts. Uh, is it worth a thousand dollars? Double the price? Not a chance in my mind. I can't imagine spending that. Not when I'm getting the same compressor here. So that makes this a really good deal. That's why I let them send this to me. It's actually going to go in this school bus here behind me. This nice lady needed a fridge and I needed this tested so she's going to get it and we'll do follow-up videos with her to see how she likes it. Okay, so that's the fridge. Uh, I don't know much about it. It's a new company. I don't, I've never seen Ice Co. before, but uh, I know the Dan Foss compressor and I know this is, I think, I think they're all made very, very similarly. So I, I'm pretty confident the fridge will turn out to be a good fridge. Why would you buy one of these? You really have four choices. The first is just not to have any refrigeration at all. Um, and you can do that. And I know people that do that, they eat raw and that's, uh, that's a very healthy way to eat, or you can do grains, or if you live in a town, you can just go to the store every day, or if you live near a town, you can just buy a few refrigerated things at a time. You don't have to have refrigeration, so that's an option, and a lot of people take it. I like cold foods. Uh, I, it's not an option for me. I've always had uh, refrigeration. Now, your next uh, option is ice, and I used ice for the first six years I lived in a van. I was in Anchorage, Alaska, so I didn't use it a whole lot. When I was in the winter, I didn't use a whole lot of refrigeration. Uh, but in the summer, I ran ice just like everyone else did, and it was no big deal. And I uh, lived in my van in the lower 48. I was in my pickup camper for about three years, and I used ice that whole time. Let's talk about the cost of ice. Um, I'm figuring two bags a week at 250 a bag average. Now. You might use less uh, in the winter, but you will use more in the summer. Two fifty per bag for two bags a week makes it five dollars a week. Uh, that's what you're going to spend on average. And actually, I think it's going to be more than that. If you're in the back country, I love the back country, and so I'm in the back country a lot. And you have to run down to the nearest convenience store. Uh, the nearest real grocery store might be fifty miles away. You're going to drive fifty miles for a bag of ice. No, you're going to go to the nearest convenience store, and that ice might be three, four, five dollars a bag. I have paid five dollars for a bag of ice because it was another hundred miles to a real store where it would be three, and I wasn't going to drive a hundred miles round trip to save three dollars on a bag of ice. I just wasn't going to do it. So no, it's probably going to be much more than two fifty on average for the year, and it will probably be much more than two bags a week. In the winter, I might can get by with one, but in the summer, I might be using three or four if it's 90 degrees in the van or more. I've often had it more. Uh, 90, 95 degrees in the van, you're, you're buying a lot of ice. I think at the minimum, it's $250 a year for ice, uh, and I think that's pretty conservative. So that means 
in two years, you could pay for this fridge by not buying ice. And I think it's much more likely that if you factor in, uh, in the summer, I'm buried deep in the woods and I have to run into, the tr into town twice a week. If I factor in the gas for those trips, just for ice, or I factor in all the food I've lost, and I have thrown away a lot of food after it's been swimming in ice water. You, I'm not eating a lunch meat after it's been swimming in ice water. I throw it away. And so, but between the food and the gas and the ice, I think you could easily pay for this in a year. And that's really kind of what I factored in when I made my first, first purchase of one. The problem is that with this, you gotta pay all the money up front, 550 bucks. And with ice, you're paying five, six, seven dollars a week, and you can do that because when you get paid, you can pay it out slowly. That's the problem, coming up with the money all at once. So then another choice you have is to go with a 110 fridge. Now that's gonna take a lot of solar, and we'll talk about the solar power you need with this here in a minute. Um, but 110 will take a lot of solar, and once you factored in the cost of buying the solar to run a 110 and the batteries, I think this comes out cheaper. By the time you balance it out with the extra solar for a 110 fridge, uh, which you can buy for 50, 60 bucks, a little dorm fridge, uh, but the solar to run it is going to be another factor. And so by the, even so, I think this still works out to be a better deal. Uh, and so you can do a no refrigeration, ice, 110, or this. And this is by far the best choice, but you have to come up with the money to buy it the first time. I've never regretted owning one of these fridges, ever. Uh, I, it hurt to buy it the first time, but I was glad that I did. Okay, let's talk about how much power, solar power you need. You need, I recommend 200 watts of solar and 200 amp hours of batteries to own and run this fridge. It, uh, on my experience, I'm, I'm spending about 20 amp hours a day on power for the fridge. I add in extra insulation and um, I control the fridge. I, I use the thermostat to turn it up. So here's how I do it. I, I, it's power management's very important when you have solar and when you depend on batteries. So first thing in the morning, I turn this, the, uh, the thermostat down and force the fridge to come on until it's real cold, not freezing, but almost freezing inside. And then I raise it up again. All day, the sun charges my batteries and uh, they're hungry because I use that power early in the morning, so they take in all the power they can. And then mid-afternoon, I do it again. I force it down into uh, almost freezing. I don't want my products, everything to freeze up because that's no good. But I use the thermostat to, come to uh, force it down uh, really cold. And so doing that, I'm usually running the fridge two hours, four hours a day, between two and four hours a day at five amps an hour. Uh, my fridge, and I'm confident this is the same compressor, will draw about 50, 55 watts, around four amps an hour. So I am burning up about 20 amps at most per day. And I'm also arranging it that way, so it's not coming on at night. It's pretty unusual for the fridge to come on at night because if I'm running this late afternoon, it's really cold going into the evening, and if I've added some extra insulation or the bag, the bag should really help, uh, it will stay cold overnight, maybe get a little warm. Maybe it'll go all the way up to 40. If it goes into the evening at 32 degrees, maybe it'll be up to by 40 the next morning and I turn it on again. And that's a good way to do it. I don't burn any juice out of my battery. I only run it when there's sun and, and the sun will keep the batteries charged. So basically, I'm trying to run it off the sun and not off my batteries. That's power management. And that's the stuff that you have to learn to do when you use solar power. But 200 watts and two batteries will almost always uh, 200 amp hours of batteries will almost always run it. And I think doing what I've said, careful solar management, you could probably get away with one single battery at 200 watts. So a few other things you should be aware of. It does make noise. I, the, I, found, I have found the Danfoss compressor to be very quiet. It has never disturbed me. The, the noise of the Danfoss is not a problem. The one complaint I hear about the Ingle, the Ingle is superior, I think, in every way, except it is noisier. And I and it actually draws less power, but the noise is a little more, and I do hear people with Ingalls saying um, that uh, they are noisy. And I don't think it's that big a deal, but they are slightly more noisy. Now, when I say Ingle is better in every way, it's also double the price. Uh, an Ingle about this size would probably be eight or $900 minimum. 
Uh, the next thing you have to consider is heat. This, gener this compressor is creating heat. It has a fan, and when it gets hot, which is nearly the whole time it's running, um, it will be running the fan, blowing the heat out. You must never interfere with the movement of that airflow. Never, never, never. You'll burn up your compressor if you do. I mean, it's not like it'll burn up that day and catch fire and explode, but you will reduce the length of its life if you it block the airflow at all. So please do not do that. Um, and when it's 90 degrees outside, 90 degrees in the van, uh, and all this heat's coming out, uh, you're aware of it. It's, it. it's putting out some heat. I Don't let it stop you. Don't let it hinder you from buying one. They're worth it. But it, it does put out some heat. Of course, conversely, in the, um, so in the winter, you're grateful for the heat. Uh, so for half the year, it's no big deal, or it's a plus, and half the year, it's sli a slight negative. Um, it's not a big deal. One of the things I have always done is buy these. This is made by Accurite. I think this thing was literally 10 bucks at Walmart. And I always leave this one, the transmitter unit, inside the fridge and this one outside. What I have found is the thermostat reacts very slowly. So I will have run it for an hour or two and maybe it will have changed a degree uh, on the thermostat on, on the fridge itself. No problem sending through the, uh, through the plastic or whatever electrical is being created created by the compressor. Ten bucks, this is money well spent. You'll always know what the inside temperature really is. Okay, so we're going to test out the Iceco, uh, new, this new Iceco fridge. It, right now it's the very best deal on a fridge with a Danfoss compressor. Uh, uh, as of here in October, I believe it's October 22nd, 2019, 550 for the fridge and the bag, free shipping from Amazon. Really good deal. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, if you're interested in that. I'm also, there's also a lot of new, really cheap uh, compressor fridges coming out. I'm going to buy one as soon as I find someone who will test it for me. I mean, like this size for 350 bucks, 200 less. So I'm going to buy one of those and we'll put it into service and see how they hold up and if they, if they really work. Um, because the, the prices are starting finally to drop. So we went ahead and put the bag on, and I think this bag is going to be well worth it, especially since it comes free uh, with this particular deal. There are some of these on Amazon that don't, but this one does. Uh, you can see there's a cutout here for the, uh, the controls. This is, a, this is where the handle will go. Um, and I'll show you how it works. You just open this up, just zip it down, and then you get in. That's how you're going to get in, just like that. And it's got an opening on both sides, so it does not inhibit the flow of ventilation whatsoever. This is nice. Uh, it's about half an inch of extra insulation. And I think this would be a really good thing. There is a, uh, a 110 and a really long 12-volt cigarette lighter plug. And they actually give you an extension. That's quite a good thing, and that's a pretty heavy cable. That's the problem is a lot of times they don't give you a heavy enough cable. If you have to go a long ways, make sure it's a heavy cable because you'll, you'll have voltage loss and that can actually damage the compressor. And then in here is also the, uh, the handles, and you can put the handles on. It's, it's a lot easier. These things, are, once you've got this thing loaded with food, it's very, very, very heavy. So um, you'll want the handles. It's already a very good price, but they're offering a discount code coupon for 20% off. The discount runs from November 4th through November 10th. In the description, I'll put the code and a link to Amazon where you can get it. And Prime is free shipping. It also includes the insulated cover, and that makes it even a better deal. I think if you're looking for a compressor fridge, this may be the one to get. Welcome back, folks. Now, we're, it's just been a few days later. Normally, I would like to give the chance to really use the fridge before, um, before I do a follow-up review. But because of the coupon code, I have to hurry it up a little bit. Uh, I don't need the fridge, so I've given it to Dakota. And you've had it for not very long. Yeah, two or three days. And so in the last two or three days, have, uh, has it worked pretty good for you? It's been amazing from the moment I plugged it in. It really has. It was sitting at 82 degrees when I first plugged it in, and, and within an hour to two hours, it was down at uh, zero one, one right. degree. One degree, so it uh, th that's the beauty of the Danfoss compressor, is that they really work well. Oh yeah. You turn German. them on and you yeah. get cold. Uh, what have you been doing for refrigeration up till now? 
Well, I had been using two 110 volt mini fridges, the little dorm fridges, because uh, I'm very heavy on the electric and I didn't have a choice. And it was just absolutely sucking my solar completely dry every day. I, I had nothing for in the evening. Once the sun went down, it was just over with. Uh, but now, uh has that still true anymore? Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. Um, if I've got the entire bus lit up, if I've got everything going, um, I can still be at 65, 70% the next morning. So it's just really changed everything for you. It has been a game changer. Right. Now, it's not as big as your mini fridges. Uh, so you mm -hmm. are you still running one of them? Yeah, um, I, I still run the, the generator for a couple hours at night or maybe for 30 minutes or so early in the morning when I turn my coffee pot on because it pulls so much power. And uh, I've got one, but it's only because I've got some uh, frozen meats in there. And uh, this is not a dual zone. This is either refrigerator or freezer. It goes from zero to 50. And I have more refrigerated items than I do frozen. So I will cut back on my frozen items later. But and I maybe wanna... even get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I probably will. I'll just keep enough uh, meats and things for a couple of days at a time. And you can see, I really am impressed with this, um, uh, this cover. I think that's really gonna make a big it's difference. It's very sturdy. And there's plenty of room. I mean, I realize it's kind of full in there, but you've got this whole area here that keeps you um, from getting into the other things, you know, where you can put condiments and things like that. And then right. this whole basket lets out. And so you can just pull it all out you and get, to get, to get yeah, it out pretty yeah. easily that way. And I really like how this cover covers this gap because mm -hmm. this is where uh, where you sometimes have a, yeah. a gap and uh, air, cold air would leak out. And it right. also seems like this is a better seal than a lot of them. Now, uh, because uh, I had this coupon code, and uh, again, it's 20% off. The, and uh, down in the description, uh, it's tw and so this right now is $550, and they're including the cover for free. So that would be 20% off, about $450, and that's cheap. For, for this quality of a compressor with a Danfoss, you're not going to beat that deal. It's just yeah. that simple. So I really recommend it, and I think you're going to be safe buying the Danfoss compressor. So there you go. Just a quick follow-up. It does work. It works fine so far. And we will do another video in a couple of months and let you know exactly how it's going. And, and then we'll do follow-ups. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, I like to do them at oh, six man. months and a year and, and for as long as we can. Okay, if you got anything out of this, and I hope you did, I hope you found some ways you can make your life better. You know, I'm out out here to suffer. I'm not out here to, to show people how I can rough it. I want cold pop. <laughs> I do. I love cold pop. And maybe you'll love cold uh, adult beverages. And no reason you can't have it. It's easy to have. A couple hundred watts on the roof. Uh, one of these. But your life is so much better. I think it's worth 550 bucks. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, let me know uh, by subscribing to the channel. Uh, hitting that like button. Hit the thumbs up button. And we'll talk to you later.